Hello everyone, welcome back to Legend of Heroes. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. I gotta call a suppressive attack. Damn it. Oh shit, let's get the hell out of here. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, welcome back to <laughs> Trails in the Sky. Oh my god, that was terrible. Anyway, last episode we started our job as a bracer. We finish up the quests to help out with the farm uh, by getting rid of the uh, critters and all that. So yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I need to make more. I need to buy more stuff here. Fresh milk, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a milk flower. Fuck. What? There we go. Anyway, so in this episode, I kind of want to just, you know, uh, do some side, some of the side side quests first. <clears throat> we get a few of them actually. Two. Find a shiny rug and uh, milch main road ma monster. So we're gonna do the uh, shiny rock first. I believe he's in the back <coughs> of this. I think this is the guy. Charles. This is really weird. Where could I have it gone? Oh, excuse me, but can I ask you something? You didn't see a shiny rock around here anywhere, did you? Huh? A shiny rock? Yeah, that's right. One that sparkles. You didn't see a rock that lying around anywhere, any, did you? Are you saying you lost something? Um, I don't recall seeing anything like that. Do you know where you might have dropped it? My mom was calling for me, so I ran over to the general goods store where, where she was. I know I had it in my hand at the time, but when I came back here, it was gone. <clears throat> When you say general goods store, you mean Mr. Renan's store, right? Did you look in front of his store? Obviously, that th that's the first place I looked. You don't need to treat me like a kid, you know. My, aren't you a charmer? <laughs> well, I already asked the Bracer Guild to help find it, so I'm sure I'll show up sooner or later. If you do happen to come across it, give me a holler straight away. <laughs> I'll probably be around. <sighs> So, we gotta talk to right on here. <clears throat> hey there, Starl. We're kinda busy. Now that you mentioned it, she had been disappearing pretty often on her way home from training. Hmm, there's something wrong with that, and eating cookies. Okay. No, that's not it. Maybe talk to her? No, that's not it. <clears throat> Oh wait, I forget. This is it. Huh? What's the matter? I wonder what that is. There's something shining down there through the sewer gate. Great. You're right. It looks like something must have fallen through. The sewers? Don't tell me you forgot about the sewers already. You know that smelly monster invested place we were in not that long ago? <laughs> you know, like yesterday? <laughs> oh right, no sewers. We went there during our practical training, right? The entrance to the so sewers should be just behind the chapel. If you're so interested in what's down there, then how about we check it out a little later? Sure, let's do that. We are actually going to be checking it out. <laughs> because that's where the shiny rock is. <clears throat> Alright. I think it's right here. Yep. Quartz fragment. I see now. The thing we saw shining through the sewer grate was this. Seems like it. Quartz fragment, huh? Now we know why it was shining so much. The way it sparkles is so beautiful. This is made of septium too, right? Loosely speaking, yes. But let's talk about it later. This isn't really the place to have a leisurely chat. I guess you're right. No normal person who would want to stay here any longer than they had to. You're right, which is why we're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Damn it! 
This is an annoying one. They only have 8 HP, but man. Ha! Huh, miss. Can I just attack? I could. God damn it. Yay, we leveled up. Nice. <sighs> I should probably start grinding level. I'm just so not- Oh, damn it. Alright. Let me go ahead and press. <sighs> Alright. So, we gotta talk to... That bastard, Charles. Here you go. Hey, is that rock? Could it be that? This is the rock you've been looking for? Yep, this is the one. My shiny rock. Why is it all dirty like this? Hey, don't you have something else to say before you complain? You guys are racers, right? I've already paid your money to the guild. Therefore, I think I have the right to complain. That's not the problem here. Calm down, Estelle. He's just a kid. I know that, but... This quartz is what you were looking for, right? Yes, that's the one. The, this rock is really quartz? You mean the same kind of quartz that's in an or orbman? Yep, it's the same kind of quartz made of cephid. It's chipped, so it doesn't function anymore. I see. So this rock belonged to an orbman. Hmm? What's wrong? You seem a bit out of it. Who, me? Oh, it's nothing. I'm glad you found it. I guess that's about it then. Oh, that reminds me. I almost forgot here. Take this. Drill meatball. My mom gives me give the gives these to me and tells me they're healthy, but they're kinda bitter, so I can't stand them. So you're giving it to us. Fuck you. Anyway, I appreciate what you did for me today. <sighs> Seriously, what a cheeky little kid. I'm sure it's a difficult age for him. But, I wonder why he why he was searching for that quartz. Who cares? What do you mean? No, no, you mentioned it. It does seem a little strange. Oh, well. Everyone has something they think, they think is important. Truer words couldn't be spoken. Perhaps that kid has an interest in Ortman's. I, for one, don't see what's so interesting about those overly complex gadgets. Because you're dumb. <laughs> My brain goes numb just thinking about them. <clears throat> Except for the fact that you'll have to get used to them sooner or later. You won't be able to fill, fulfill your job as a bracer if you can't use one. Alright, alright, I'll try to learn. <laughs> alright, we got one of them. So the other one is... Milch Main Road Monster. Okay. So let me go and save first. <clears throat> so this game gives us a lot of sp uh, save slots, so yeah. Anyway, so is this Milch VK? So I think I believe the monster should be near the checkpoint. Is it? Hang on. A ferocious monster known as Pine Plant has been spotted roving in Milch. Okay. Braces from the strands are across the deal. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That fucking bug, man. <laughs> Is that it? No, hang on. Hmm, maybe this is it. Let me go and save again. That's it. Ah, it is. Exterminate. Okay, I think I remember this one. I believe like if you kill him, kill it while you're near, it'll explode on you. So let's not do that. Oh, 
<clears throat> Come on. Ow. That's not nice. Looks like it's weak to fire, maybe. It is! Son of a bitch. Should I finish her off? No, you know what? Oh! What? Why is it not working? Shit. gonna do this then I'm gonna have Joshua move out like that uh, Estelle is gonna move out of here god that it was so fucking dumb son of a bitch I can't believe I died stupidly like that <laughs> uh, that was embarrassing There we go. Alright, I'm gonna just clock up on Estelle. Ow. We did it! There we go, nobody died. <laughs> oh my god. That was so stupid of me. I can't believe I died from that. <laughs> god. Let me go and save again. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I was like, man, I forgot I should probably move. Not be really close to it. Nope, I forgot. Oh my god, that was embarrassing. <laughs> but we did it. Yeah, nope. Alright. Good morning, how did the job at the farm go? Um, we hit a few bumps in the road, but let me give you a brief report of the details. Joshua told you. Okay. So, okay, so total BP is 5, third 8. So you ended up setting the monsters free because the Purzel family requested you to do so? 
I think it was premature on their part, but it was I but I won't pursue the matter any further. Is it okay to leave things at that? The mission of a bracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and there are as many forms of justice as there are stars in the heavens. As a bracer, it is your job to be able to discern these things. Indeed, our work has very profound implications if you think about it in that way. That's because we aren't or, or we aren't an organization uh, that deals strictly with monsters' problems. We also intervenes when disputes arise between nations. To become high-ranking bracer, one must have more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and flexible problem-solving skills are also required. A sharp mind and problem-solving ability, huh? Serious? The road to the big league sounds like a lot steeper than I originally thought. <laughs> <clears throat> well, then your only choice is to devote yourself to working hard every day. And since you're both here, why don't I give you the details of your next job? Those are the words I've been waiting to hear. I'm ready for anything, so what have you got lined up for us this time? Another monster that needs a good whipping? Not this time. This next job will be will entail the transporta transportation of goods. And get this, your client is none other than the mayor Kla Klaus himself. Really? A request from the mayor? Do you think it'll be alright leaving such an important task up to us? From what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor directly about the job details. Yeah, but <clears throat> can I report the other one? Cool. Alright, good. Good work, it seems like you completed your job your objective without any trouble. If you finished on any other jobs, please come back and report again. I believe there's a new job, right? Yep. Mushroom hunt. Soldier in training. Hmm. Should I do the side quest first instead of doing the main one? Hmm. Nah, no, let's just do that. We're gonna save first. Actually, let's go to the uh, the sewers and then rest there. All right. <sighs> so we got a few. Um, how do you open the thing again? There you are. We did the find the shiny rock. Let's go do a mushroom hunt. Yeah. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I am looking for a rare mushroom that grows only when there are rich deposits of septium in the ground. Should be an easy, fun job. For details, please come seek me out. My name is Orvid. I'll be waiting at the landing port. Alright, where's the landing port? There you are. There you are. Darn bracers, how long do they intend to keep me waiting? If they don't hurry and get here, I'm going to miss my flight. I should have expected as much from a rural rural backwater burke like this. Huh? Well, I'll be. That's the racer emblem, if I'm not mistaken. I've been waiting for you to show up. I have an urgent job, so you... Do you have some time to hear my request? Sure. <clears throat> sure, we got some time. Great, really? This really helps me out. Alright, let me give you a rundown and explain the details of the job. Let me formally introduce myself. I am Orvid, representative of for Orvid Co. I'm Estelle and this is Joshua, it's nice to meet you. Estelle and Joshua, is it? The two of you are quite young if I do if I do say so myself. <laughs> we are actually pretty new to this br whole bracer thing. Greenhorns? Oh well, I guess you'll have to do. Pardon? <coughs> Never mind, I was just talking to myself. Sure you were. Alright, let's get down to business. Please excuse my lack of decorum, but I'm in a bit of hurry. Sure. At the moment, I'm looking for a rare mushroom called the Firefly Fungus. It is said that it only grows in soil rich with septium. There are records of it being picked here in Roland, but no shop seems to carry it. However, it is a vi vital necessity that I get my hands on one. So I put in a request at the guild house. 
Soil rich with septium. Hmm, I can only think of Malga Trail as possible as a possible location. Do you know any other characteristics of these mushrooms? It seems that it normally grows in areas with patches of grass. Okay, we gotta touch some grass, okay. However, since it is buried in the dirt, if you don't look closely, you won't find it. <clears throat> Jeez, this one sounds like it's going to be a pain. I know. Excuse me one second. Okay, sorry about that, I had to cough. But once you dig one up, you'll know if it's firefly fungus or not. For one thing, it glows with a light green color. So that's why it's called firefly fungus? Well, that makes sense. I know. Alright, have I explained things clearly enough? So basically all we need to do is find a glowing mushroom in a patch of grass along the Malga Trail, right? Looks that way to me. If well, if they're really glowing, growing in the ground, we won't we probably won't be able to find one so easily. If you run into any trouble, come back and speak with me again. I ask that you find one as soon as possible. Jeez, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wrong one Alright, so I believe that's right next to Esmela Tower Hang on, so hang on, where's the memo again? How do I make the memo again? Now there we go. We will be searching for a firefly, firefly fungus. Apparently these peculiar fungi can be found in grassy patches along the Malga Trail. That's that right. Okay. Should I grab should I grab the other quest as well? I'm looking for someone to replace a malfunctioning. I mean I'm sure this is the easy one as well. Right? I mean, everyone leads everywhere leads to Milch Road. Yeah, sure. Let's go back. I also need to like maybe make a new get a new weapon or something. Why are they so expensive? Fucking hell. Okay, I can buy this for two okay, for four hundred. Prevents poison, prevents blind. I like this one. Let's buy two. I hate poison more than anything. <laughs> Twin dirks. How much is the weapon again? Hmm. It's kind of... I don't know, it is a, a improvement, right? 52. Tell you what, let's do... let's get the uh, one quest again. I heard that the LR airliners are equipped with huge machines called orbital engines or some such things. They're said that... They're said to use an orbman structures as well. It's, it was. It seems that some big wig mod professors. Is this the guy? No way. I don't think so. His name is Freddy, right? Is this Freddy? I forgot. Yeah, it is. Hey there, you two. You two new bracers seems to be having some success lately. I've been hearing a lot about your hard work recently. We only, we've only done three jobs so far. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that's because we're still new at this, so we have to work extra hard. That's encouraging to hear. You guys actually came at a good time. I've, I've got an urgent job that needs to be taken care of. Do you think you'd be up to the task of replacing an Orbman light in a road lab, road lamp along the Mitch main road? Sure, you just leave it to us. If you're fine with us doing the job, then we'll gladly accept. 
Thanks, I really appreciate this. I completely forgot. I needed it. I forgot it needed to be replaced today. Well then, gotta do it quick. <laughs> First off, I need to give the. Uh, I'll need to give you the replacement part. Orbman light. This is the replacement orbman. That's right. I want you to use. I want you to replace the orbman light and the road lamp number six on the main road to the west. It's the sixth road lamp that you'll come across, counting from Roland's west entrance. Make sure you get the right one. I think I've got it. Do you? Six road lamp from Roland's west entrance, right? Once you found the road lamp, you'll need to open the maintenance panel. You'll need six digit combination to open it. Are you serious? Yep, the combination for the six road lamp is 544818. Jesus. Okay, hang on, let me write that down. <laughs> Five four four eight one eight. Okay. I'm sorry, but could you repeat that again? <laughs> it's five four four eight one eight. Well, aren't you cool? <laughs> That's right. Good, good memory, Joshua. Show off. After the combination is entered, the panel will open, and after all that, after that. All that's left is to replace the Ortman. It may seem like a simple task, but make sure not to mess it up. Don't fuck up. The road lamp may have been out of order for a while now. I see. The light of the of the Ortmans can keep the large monsters away, right? It's not much more than an unconscious dislike for them. <laughs> but if they do go out, then we run into real problems. Which is why I'm asking you to do this job, just in case. These road lamps are placed just off the roads in areas where monsters are most, most likely to appear. Well, just you just leave the, those monsters to me and I'll take care of them. But I better write that down, write down that combination before I forget. Then maybe you should let me deal with the combination instead. I'll leave it up to you two to divide up the work amongst yourselves. That should be everything you need to know, so good luck. If you need to double check or cancel the job, then come and talk with me again. Why would we can cancel the job? <laughs> ah. Alright, what's the other one? Medical necessities. I'm searching for a flower known as a bear claw. Isn't that a, is, isn't it like a alcohol? <laughs> In a savory opinion, the former is native to the forest of Mistwald, south of Roland, and the latter comes from insect-like monsters. Ugh. Anyone who find these items, please come see me at the Roland Chapel. Okay, you bastard. <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't be bad, right? <sighs> Alright, is this... Where, where is this again? Malga Trail? No. The job we need is... in... Milch, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and save again. Alright, let's go. Okay, so how do I do this? The opposite side will be the sixth road lamp from Roland along the Mitch main road. Alright. I think it should be near the bridge. Is that? No, it's not here.
No, that's not it. Oh, fuck. So there's six, right? So let's count them. One. And I guess that counts as one? No. Two. No, wait, wait, wait. If we count them, if we count them from the, from Milch. Is it this one? Ah! From what Freddy said, I think this is the road lamp. I'm fairly certain this is the right one too. It says road lamp number six on the panel as well. You're right, it does. Alrighty then, let's get to work and finish this job. <laughs> Unfortunately, it may not be that easy. What do you mean? Great. Where did all these monsters come from? It looks like the Orbman really has burned out. Anyway, one of us will need to fend off these monsters while the other places the Orbman. Yeah, you're right. Well then. Hmm. L let's get Joshua handled it. Do you really know how to replace one of those things? Wait, why is there another Joshua there? Come on, Joshua, how hard could it be? Even I can do something simple as replacing an orbman, says the girl who glued her her hand to her head once. But alright, if you say so. I'm counting on you. Got it. Wait, what, again, why is there another Joshua there? <laughs> that was so weird. Alright, one down. Well, good thing I upgrade my gear. And they're not so bad. See? Keep attacking me. Get me more craft point. So then I can use them to kill you all. <laughs> we did it! Nice job, Joshua. Right, we're good to go. That take that takes care of the first wave. Wait, there's first wave? Well how's it coming, Estelle? I'm entering the combination for the maintenance panel right now. I'm pretty sure the code was... <laughs> Is it... Well, let me check again. 544818, yeah. Okay. It's open. Sometimes I'm too smart for my own good. I'm, I'm okay here, Estelle. Just focus on fix fixing the lamp. Got it. Now, for the Orman wood. Which goes in like that and voila. Perfect. I'm the best in the world. Good work, Estelle. All the monsters seem to have gone, too. Phew! Sugar all stressed out over this job. <laughs> Considering the circumstances, it seemed pretty reasonable to me. But the thing that surprises me the most is that you remember the combination. Do you want to know the truth? I actually just saw a jumble of numbers in my head and the buttons happen. I happened to press were the right ones. I should have figured as much. <laughs> You're something else. Anyway, our job is done here. Let's just think about something else. I guess you're right. <laughs> Alright, how about we head back to town? We better go report to Freddy. Alright, let's go. Alright, so my defense is still good. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. What was the other job again? The mushroom one? Malga Trail. This is not Malga Trail. This is Milch Mil Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Malga Trail is that way. Let me go and save first. Actually, let's rest and save. <laughs> I'm just gonna use that port again. Alright, so let me go and... Do that. Let me, see. Let me go and save. <sighs> Alright, so it should be somewhere around here. It's a grassy type 
uh, grassy area of Nalga Trail. Which should be near Asmela's, but it's right around here. Fuck! Alright, let's go. I'm a bit stronger now compared to before, so I can actually kill those bugs anyway. I didn't even see him. Hang on. Okay, it's that one. He almost killed Joshua though. No, Jesus. White bracelet. Hell yeah. What does white bracelet do? Prevents blind. I do like not having... <laughs> being able to see much. This one is. Yep. Aha! Now what's with the sudden outburst? I found it. Now to claim our prize. Firefly fungus. Isn't that... You think so too? The place is growing, seems about right. And it's got that soft green glow. This has to be that firefly fungus. Not that's that. What's his face talking about? <laughs> Even all of it, right? Yeah, that's who I meant. It doesn't look like that all that tasty, but it sure is pretty for a mushroom. I almost like the glow of septium, if you ask me. Septium. What's up, Joshua? I may be worrying too much, but I think you better put that mushroom in your bag quickly, Estelle. What? Ah, damn it! Not these guys again. Just like I figured. This mushroom attracts. Still, look out! <laughs> All right. I mean, this should be easy still. Miss. Alright, one down. Whoa! Mess! Okay, we need to kill that one quick. There we go. No, that was a surprise, I tell you. <laughs> Did you put that thing away? Yep, it's all taken care of. The light emitted from by raw septium has the power to attract monsters. This mushroom also seems to have the same effect. That sneaky merchant. He never mentioned a single thing about this. Anyway, let's hurry back to the town. Just wait until get I get my hands on you, you conniving merchant. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys back in Roland then. So yeah, later. Alright, we're back to Roland. So let's go and talk to Orvid. What's, what's that you say? You found a mushroom? Yep, we found it alright. Oh, wonderful. But it might be different than the one we heard about from you. You see, this mushroom attacks, attracts monsters. Uh, well, it's like this. So even though you knew the risk, you hired us for the job, Orvid. What? How was I supposed to know something like that? And besides, a bracer's job is to deal with danger, right? Well, a little heads up would have been nice, so we could have at least be been prepared. Never mind us. The big question is wh here. Big question here is your motive. What do you intend to use this mushroom for? Yeah, this thing could be a weapon. Fess up, you had some big nefarious plan in mind, right? A nefarious mushroom plan? <laughs> uh, what? Isn't it obvious what I'm going to use it for? For cooking, of course. What? Cooking? Are you trying to tell me that people actually eat this thing? This is why it's such a pain to deal with country bumpkins. 
In the hands of a skilled chef, the more dense the distinct the ingredient, the more profound the taste. And from that perspective, the firefly fungus is the king of them all. This is no doubt the ultimate ingredient. Uh, you're weird. So pretty much you're, what you're saying is that it's for people with bizarre eating habits. Hmm, that's the talk of one of un unacquainted with the true delicacy. <laughs> But then again, commoners such as yourself would never have, have an opportunity to try such dishes. And praise to be to heaven for that. <laughs> I never want to gnaw on a ratty green mushroom like that. Agreed, it looks pretty nasty. Anyway, I have other business preparations to make. Now if you don't mind, I ask that you hand over the mushroom and leave. Yes, please take it. On behalf of this mushroom, I shall turn a, turn a blind eye into your ignorance. And as promised, I will pay you, so be grateful to your client. Nobody's going to buy that mushroom, I hope you know. <laughs> Come on, Joshua, let's go. Please excuse us, we will be going now. Yes, please do. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay, so let's turn in the other one. This one. We're back, Freddy. Oh, hi, Estelle. From the look on your face, it seems like you finished the job. Yep, yep, and we did a fine job too. Although we did have a few hang-ups, we thought we'd report to you as a matter of good measure. Reported the events which occurred at the, on the Milch main road. So it really was burnt out, huh? I'm sure it happened because we were late replacing it. Sorry kids, you were put in harm's way because of me. There's no need to apologize. It comes with the territory. Dealing with dangerous jobs is, is a part of Bracer's work. I appreciate you saying that. So, oh, I know. How about I give you make? Uh, how, how about I give you this to make amends? Impede two. This is perfect. This is a quartz. Yep, it's an impede two quartz. It can prevent an, an enemy's art. Yes, it's really good. It can be pretty useful if you use it effectively. I'm gonna give that one to Josh. Thanks. We appreciate it. No, thank you. No, thank you to the both of you today. If you need to discuss to discuss anything about Oldman's, then stop by anytime. Don't forget to swing by if you have any other business needs. Alright, so let's take care of that. I get 700, sweet. I get 600. Good work, it seems like you completed yeah, 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 yeah. So there's only two left. We can do this, those two in the next part then. Uh, now, do I have enough sepet to make... To get me... No, not this place. To unlock my uh, thing. Damn it, I don't. I'm gonna have to start grinding here to get more sepet, do I? Alright, I'll just do that. So thank you all so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys very very soon. Stay tuned and stay safe. Later!